have a look at this. This is the Honda CRF250L. Catch you inside. Hello, welcome to Revelator Health. Hope you enjoy the channel and the series of videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and check out the website revelatorhealth.com. So look, here I'm trying out a much smaller off-road capable bike, a 250. I always said when I got my Harley that I actually wanted to also get a much smaller bike for the off-road trails. I think this could be it. Look at this beauty absolutely gorgeous had a bit of fun riding up here on the road really nice but so light so light but let me get on to the specs for you okay so the crf 250 uh, l you can also have a rally version which has basically got more of a sump guard uh you got hand guards you've got more of a up screen uh, i think it's got a slightly bigger tank as well uh, so the two variants that you can go for just under five thousand uh, pounds for this four thousand nine hundred and forty nine and change to uh, 250 cc of course and it's a single cylinder dual overhead cam and it's uh liquid cooled as well marvelous now the engine is 24 horsepower and uh, just over 22 newton meters so it hasn't got a tremendous amount of power in terms of power wise but in terms of off-road capability and power it's going to be fine it's a chain drive six speed and it's a wet clutch on it as well so front suspension upside down forks with loads of travel there and uh, rear suspension yeah that monoshock pro link that they've got there as well wheels uh both spokes this has got kind of road and uh, off-road capable knobblies uh, you've got a 21 inch front and an 18 inch rear uh basic on the lights so just bulb lights uh, all around now length is 2195 millimeters width is 815 and height is an 1195 you are sitting quite high on it but the suspension is so soft on it for you know on road and off-road uh, travels you actually sit quite low on it seat height is 875 wheelbase is 1445 ground clearance which is really nice 255 mil and wet weight would you believe uh well coming from a heavy bike to a light bike here this is only 146 kilos so you can drop this to your heart's content and be able to pick it up no dramas and the frame is a steel twin tube tank is uh, just over seven seven point eight liters and if you look at the miles per gallon really it's in the region about 74 on a conservative ride uh, but you know we're not really that bothered about that this would be great for an on-road off-road bike certainly off-road trails fantastic not the most powerful but it's definitely gonna um suit your purpose you can go for the 450 variant of this so crf 450 which is a lot more power over 40 uh 40 horsepower with a dynamic pack but you know it's it's whether you really want that power or where you really need that power maybe i'll do a, a review on that at some point if i decide to try that out as well but for me this kind of bike is maybe what i'm really looking for that's got a bit of on-road commuter capability but also off-road uh capable get on the trails and getting into really challenging stuff as well put a sump guard on that as well that's all i'd need on this but right let's go give it a go i think right turn the key oh swish 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 that's all very nice it's lcd screen and run the switch to on and oh feel the power right let's go give this a whirl shall we so you automatically realize how light this thing is in terms of road acceleration no you haven't got it it's only a 250 cc of course so you you know if you're looking for a road capable bike this is not probably the one but if you're looking for something that you know you can you know, get along the road no problem but also you'll definitely get off road on this this is where i'm looking at and i can already tell that if i'm looking for this off-road capability this is the one i'm looking for this is the size i'm looking for right here we go look for a small bike it's you know pickup is great flickability it's just nice yeah look you've got that big tire at the front uh that big rim but i tell you what it goes really well nice and stable nice and light nice uh controls i love these uh bars anyway this is more my kind of style of riding anyway but really nice 
really nice foot controls everything's really compact you know your knees are really into the tank here which i like you kind of got you know the all these new when i started riding off-road uh bikes many years ago you started off with flat seats then it went into this really sunken with a high tank now it's all changed it's gone very much more flat so you can move forward and back on the uh the bike really easily right well brakes wise and look right i've got to say because this is an off-road suspension as well you got lots of traveling on here this is probably one of the smoothest rides that you're gonna have in terms of uh comfort the seat is nice and firm but it's comfortable you're not kind of leaning into the tank so there's no there's no uh pressure on your crotch let's say also the actual comfort itself of through the suspension is really nice you go into a, a bend and it's so light you're thinking crikey am i going to roll over here you know look this is not this is not a road bike per se so you've got to make allowances for it but it is nice it is very nice oh you could have oodles of fun with this i tell you oodles of fun I would always say, somebody who's inexperienced, somebody who's just getting into biking, always go for this kind of bike anyway. The, the handlebars give you all the authority that you need. You're going to be able to, you're sat up right, you're sat up high, you've got a great vision. Um, your knees are tucked in as well. Your back's up straight, so it's more comfortable. The question you've got to ask yourself is this. Is this CRF 250L or the rally version, is this going to suit your needs? Is this the kind of bike that you really want to, you know, to go off, uh, you know, riding on a weekend or during the day? Do you want to use it as a commuter? I suppose the thing you've got to consider when you're looking at this kind of bike, as, as I am, is do I really need it for on-road riding? Well, no, I don't because I've got other bikes, uh, I've got another bike that's uh, gonna do that fine. And there's probably, um, there are much better bikes, of course, for road riding, but that's not the point of this. The point of this is that you're getting a bike that is really, really gonna be light and very capable off-road, and you're gonna be able to throw it around anywhere. On road, it's gonna be sufficient, and it's gonna be a great shorter distance bike that's what you're looking for a shorter distance bike not long distance short distance and if you're just going to go on the back roads whatever not and it's not high revving this so it's not high revving uh, bike it's just uh you know very gradual it's nice and comfortable very much this is very much honda all over it's just a nice ride and you gradually build up the speed so on road you're definitely going to notice that there is a a deficiency let's say let me go this way there is a deficiency in many ways for that woohoo for that road ride but i tell you what it's it's powerful enough but where you're going to notice this or oh, put on the brakes let's try these brakes i tell you what this is good abs on these of course yeah put the brakes on yeah activating the abs there really nice works really well suspension is smoothy smooth schlickety smooth as they say uh well somebody says anyway nice nice and smooth nice it doesn't over dip on the on the front uh front braking you know there's not a lot of dive there but it's it's nice into the bend here now, now, what's going to make this a, a good off-road capable bike? Well, suspension, ground clearance, um, and also it's uh, it's how it's revving and how it's going through the gears. You know, third, second, third, fourth gear, third gear. That's about as much as you're going to get mostly off-road. You don't want something that's r too twitchy, uh, for, certainly for an inexperienced uh, off-road rider. This nice, smooth. So braking is great suspension is great and it's light that's the key thing here guys it's light that's what you want in a bike like this right well uh i'm on the uh, open road here again kind of these back roads uh, or i love to be uh look i could easily take this off road on trails as well and i know or just by riding it here that it's going to be capable because one 
as I say, the clearance and also the, uh, the, the braking, the suspension. It's just nice. You're in a nice upright position. You know, you can put your foot down to give yourself extra balance. You know, it's uh, it's you can adjust the seat uh, height a, a little bit on this. You can adjust the suspension. You can adjust the the rear linkage as well to adjust the height if you're uh, slightly shorter. Everything can be adjusted, and and you know this is the great thing about any of these kind of off-road capable bikes, but certainly this CRF uh, 250. What is also really good about this bike, possibly head and shoulders above others, uh, which I would uh, kind of care to mention, the sort of 250 ish enduro range, is that it's got a long service interval. I think this is 8,000 service interval. So it's almost like trouble free riding. Whereas the others, you need a lot more maintenance, a lot more regular maintenance, you know, up to 1,000 uh, miles every oil change and all that kind of stuff. So if you want something that you can just get on the trails on a weekend get really muddy have loads of fun and then also use it as a quick commuter bike on the monday morning this is the one this is the one that you that you're going to want to need i'm trying lots of different these uh, smaller enduro bikes and i've got to say this is such such a great contender i was looking at other ones and i was thinking do you know what do i really need the road capability and then I'm thinking, well, actually, what's the point of me getting one of these small ones? Primarily, is it to be really good off-road? And it doesn't have to be that great off on-road, just really good off-road. And I can put it in challenging situations, and this will do it. I don't need the rally screen, I don't need a bigger tank, I don't need, you know, all the extra mod cons. You know, I can put hand guards on it if I want to. But this CRO 250 Al, as it is, is perfect for what I need. And maybe it'll be perfect for what you need as well. Yeah. You're on road, look, up on the pegs now. Going back, forward. Oh, it's so, so easy to throw around this one. Whether you're standing up on the pegs or sat down really nice well there we go ladies and gentlemen the CRA 250 long service intervals great braking great suspension great off-road and really you know it's going to be a great bike off-road it's whether it's going to be a, a decent enough road bike for you to be able to use it short distances commuting uh, just having a bit of road fun absolutely fine if you're going to use this bike for purely road riding you're never going to go off on a trail it'd be great just get some road tires for it you know don't have these off-road capable uh, tires uh, just get road tires like a super motor type thing but actually th these tires are great on the road as well no problem i know it's a dry road as well but look you're out in the countryside you don't need a big bike for this kind of stuff you just go and enjoy yourself what more could you ask for beautiful day here in the uk i'm on a great little bike crf 250 i said i'd only take it out for half an hour because that's all i need but guess what i'm gonna i'm gonna phone them up now and say look i want to have this for a couple of hours oh yeah oh yes indeed this ladies and gentlemen i think i found the actual bike that i want for my off-road riding this is the one that I'm going to have. It's going to be trouble free, maintenance free. It's going to be fun, light, agile, because you know if you're going to go off road, you're going to, the, the trickier stuff you get into, the more challenging it is, at some point you're going to, you're going to drop the bike. So I'll tell you what, just get a bike that is, you know, really capable, but also really light to pick up. This is it. This is it. Right, hope you found that useful and enjoyable, I suppose. Look, as, you know, if you can tell I'm having a bit of fun here, yes, I am. And I think this is exactly what you will have if you ride this bike or any kind of bike of this size. I'll be fair, I'll be charitable to other brands as well. But this bike and others of this size, you're just going to have fun. Forget about street cred, forget about 
all that kind of stuff and power and power figures and how in naught to 60 figures and you know all that kind of stuff and carrying luggage and carrying pillions and all that kind of stuff forget about all that now what you want is just to have a look at this bike and say this is a fun for me to ride uh, whether commuting or on road off road trails this is what you want. Well, I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Check out the website, revelatorav.com, and I'll catch you again, maybe on-road or off-road, and most likely on this kind of bike, and this CRF 250L, which is possibly my newest, latest best friend, if that makes any sense. Oh, yeah. Ta-da now. <laughs>